Did you call bank? I call bank. So we have just received an NBA 2K20 My Career trailer, basically giving us details about the game itself, what the story is going to be about, and things like that. I went through the trailer in this video and I talk about the 15 things that I have found new or interesting in the trailer. Before this video starts, be an OG, join the Pag Nation, and subscribe. And also, if you want to win NBA 2K24 free, I am giving away 5 copies. It'll be 4 regular editions and 1 legend edition. If you want to win that, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram or you can follow me on Twitter. And I will put you in a randomizer and you could win. Make sure to check your DMs when NBA 2K20 releases to see if you won. Also, last announcement, I promise this is the last one, is that the NBA 2K20 demo releases tomorrow and I'm going to be streaming that all day long tomorrow. So get on that if you want to check out my stream, me playing NBA 2K20. Coach said you were being held out for a violation of team rules. Care to comment? So the first thing I'm noticing is that it's looking like so far that you're going to be in college, not in high school, because they did scan that high school like gym, but it's looking like in the trailer that you're actually going to be in college and that you're going to be a senior in college in your fourth year. So you're not going to be a one and done player, you're actually going to be joining in and then probably like the end of the year and then you're going to be going into the NBA draft and then all that stuff. That's what I'm assuming so far. It's easy watching your brother fall like that, but hey. This is what we work for. All right. Now, the next thing I noticed is that this is going to be like a film. That's what they've been saying. Some 2Ks like to do just like a continuous story for like years. This is looking more like back in 2K17 when Spike Lee made my career, made that little story. It's basically looking like the same thing for this year. And I'm okay with that. Honestly, that was a lot more exciting in 2K17 than it was back in 2K18 and 19 when it was just kind of like a boring series or boring story. I'm much more into like a genuine little film type thing. Hey, look, Jay, uh, Coach took my scholarship, man. I've been your advisor for four years. If you really want them to hear you, you've got to be willing to sacrifice. It was a choice. You chose to sit out. I chose to stand up. So the story so far is going to be looking like some kind of movement. So what looks like happened so far is that your teammate, one of your star players, gets injured during the season, who also happens to be like one of your best friends. That player gets injured and he's done for the year. And then for some reason, the school decides to strip him of his scholarship, which is a, a big problem that you shouldn't be doing it at all. So I guess what your player is doing is creating a movement and basically saying, hey, this is wrong and I'm not going to play if my best friend is removed to scholarship for no reason. That's stupid, right? The next thing, at number four, is that your name is Che. I'm not really sure how I feel about that name. We were used to AI and Freak. But Che is just kind of like, I don't know what that's like trying to reference. Maybe it's like a short name of like a longer name that I just don't know. But probably Cheese, honestly. But whatever, it's fine. Even though we're using a player, we should still be able to use our own face scans for this story. It's not going to be like FIFA where they have like one set player and you have to use that player and that face and everything for the story. It's going to be our own face scans, just like every year. Whatever point you think you're making, son, now is not the time. You are the captain of this team. The next thing I notice is that Idris Alba is going to be the main actor, well, at least one of the main actors. He's going to be the coach of the team. <laughs> Idris Alba has won an Oscar. He's literally like a big name. I'm really surprised they're able to get him. They probably paid a lot of money to get this dude to be an NBA 2K20. And probably all that money should have been gone into making this game a little better. But the game might end up being a lot better than we're hoping for, right? Better act like it. I believe I am, coach. Graduating, Chape. You are letting them win. Really, I just want to help on my teammate, man. Tournament ends. Suddenly, everything gets real. The next thing is that they keep talking about a tournament. So what I think what's going to happen with the story is that we're going to pick up towards the end of the season of the final season of his college career, where, as you know, in college works, if you're good enough, you're going to be basically going into March Madness. So I'm, I'm obviously they can't do March Madness because they don't have the license for that. But it's looking like they're going to be entering a tournament to win the college championship. That's when you decide to sit down and like argue and say that I'm not going to play for my teammate and to like defend him. So I guess that's like what the story is that you're going to be going into this tournament. And then I guess you got to decide whether or not you're going to play. I don't know what's going to go on there, but we'll see. If you and I want to try and make it into the league, I can't have anyone else in your ear. So you sure this agent knows what he has in you? I mean, you're so much more than basketball. Tighten that elbow, kid. 
Whoa, what's up, Kimber? The next thing is that this is a court that is either the new blacktop or the new neighborhood. Now, at the community day, people played blacktop and it was the same as last year. But people also said that the neighborhood is the same as last year. But 2K isn't one to make things that you only get to use once. I think that this court you're seeing in this like footage is going to be a court you get to use. Is, is basically going to be the new blacktop, maybe? I don't want to say it's confirmed, but it's definitely looking like this is going to be the brand new blacktop. And they're just going to update it when the actual game comes out. I really doubt this is a neighborhood, but then again, there's buildings all over. There's people watching. So maybe it is a neighborhood. I'm not too sure what they're going to want to do there. You touch earth? Man, I ain't touching no earth, man. What's up? I'm your trainer for the next couple months. But here at number eight, you do see that the former neighborhood is here in the trailer. Now, this does not confirm 100% that the neighborhood is going to stay the same as last year because all they could be doing is using the neighborhood from last 2K and using it as like a set for this like gameplay trailer, or like this, this is my career storyline of this scene. So just because they're using it in this scene, they might just be using it just because they already had that asset. That doesn't mean they're just going to reuse it for the neighborhood. But in my opinion, a lot of 2K YouTubers have been saying the neighborhood's going to be the same as last year. They're using it here in this footage. It's looking pretty bad. It's looking like so far this is going to be the same neighborhood as always. And that's not a great sign. Next few days, he has a chance to really impress these guys. Here, and we already talked about the draft before, but again, here is the draft combine. It is for sure going to be added now, like confirming it. And it has a couple things like agility, speed tests. So I feel like not only are you going to be playing pickup at the draft combine, you're also going to be doing like specific tests to see how fast you are, your vertical, your agility, and things like that. Maybe even shooting. I'm actually kind of excited about that. That's going to be pretty fun. Mav handles all of LeBron's off-court opportunities. I'm not done, Z. It's time to put people on notice. I want you to get out there and get us this stop. Those were your decisions. Feel that? That's the anxiety, all right? Use it. The next thing is that they're hinting at Summer League here. Our success hinges on authenticity. Boy, there we go. Looking just like you felt. Really giving athletes a voice to become more than an athlete. It took me a while to understand the opportunity that I was given. Actually, at number 11, yes, they're definitely hinting at Summer League because here you are clearly in a Las Vegas casino. You can see some slot machines. You can see that this is like a really nice hotel, which is probably hinting at like a, a nice hotel in Vegas. So if you're in Vegas, that means the only reason you're in Vegas as a college player is probably because Summer League is like around the corner. So that's what I'm assuming is going to happen in this game. You're going into the Summer League and with your teammate or friend that's coming with you. At number 12, here's more of like a little Easter egg than like anything really important. When you're in the footage of LeBron James in his jet, when you're walking towards the jet, you see on the wing, it says N123LJ. What I'm assuming that's referencing to is number one, like play number one, number 23 as in LeBron James and LJ as LeBron James, right? That's I think a little, little Easter egg I thought it was kind of cool. The next thing at number 13 is the Summer League trophy and logo. Just to 100% confirm this, here you see he's picking up the Summer League MVP trophy and also on the reflection of the trophy, you can see the Summer League logo on the court, which is basically like how much more can you hint that we're going to be in the Summer League. So basically the storyline is looking like you're going to be entering the tournament of college your last season and then you go drafted and then you go into the Summer League and then maybe play your first season in the NBA. I'm not sure what they're going to want to do there. If you want it bad enough, if you're willing to sacrifice, it will find you. At number 14, it is a motion capture. I just wanted to mention, just looks fantastic. Like you look at how well this looks compared to other 2Ks. It looks genuine. People talking, it doesn't look like lazy or, you know, awful voice acting as we've seen before, honestly, with Dion Waiters. That a young buck like you could actually do the right thing and avoid getting his sorry butt kicked out the game. Back. This is gonna be really solid. So you sure this agent knows what he has in you? I mean, you're so much more than basketball. You pulling Porter scholarship? That's Jim Porter and me. Answer the question, hey, coach. Hey, hey, watch your tone, okay? I know you're upset. I am too, but there's some things you don't understand. And finally at number 15 is that they actually made some OST for this game. They actually wrote some music. I'm actually really impressed by that. They usually add some like song in the background that they like got paid to add into the game. But no, they actually made some music for this game. It's just a little detail. It makes stories so much better when you add actual music. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I think the story is actually going to be 
pretty good. That's it for this video, you guys. Did I miss anything? Is there anything in the trailer that you saw that you were like, wow, it's interesting, and then I didn't mention it? Leave it in the comments below. What do you guys think about this? I'm personally pretty excited. I'm excited to play it tomorrow. Like, whenever the new game comes out, it always gives me, like, this new feeling of, like, oh, this is hype. It's going to happen. I have a good feeling about this one. I think this one's going to be better than usual. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my channel, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call back?